Anand Learn at Cloud Analytics. So in today's session, we would be talking about what are filters and slicers and how are they differentiated and how can we slice and dice the data to get the required data set. So both filters and slicers are used to filter the un unwanted data from the report. However, there are few uh, differences that can be noted. So let's quickly look at what are uh, filters and slicers and how are they differentiated. So uh, on this particular visual report, I'll try to add a, uh, filters and slicer and then we'll compare both of them. So, but before that, uh, let's quickly look at the filters pane to see what are the different options that are provided. So on the filters pane, we see there are two sections on how we can apply the filter on this uh, report page, which is filters on this specific page and filters on all the pages, right? So on all the pages would mean that every uh, tab that you see at the bottom of this uh, workbook is an individual page. So by applying the respective column on this particular area, that filter would be uh, added on all the pages. Now, let's see what is meant by a slicer. So in order to have a slicer added up on this uh, report, we would need to add the visual slicer on the... So we would need to add the report slicer. So slicer is a visual. So that is the main difference between filter and slicer. So slicer is a visual. So let's see uh, by that. So I'll just quickly add this order, order date as a slicer for this visual. And uh, there are different options on how you can uh, make use of the slicer. So if you navigate through this uh, drop down option on the top right corner, you see how this uh, slicer could be uh, enabled for filtering the data. So there are different options how you can uh, engage that. So you can just go through the different options here. However, uh, I would suggest that we go with the drop down option because then it would uh, help us to minimize or reduce some sort of performance impact on the report. So which means that uh, please be uh, um, please be aware that whenever you apply or add any slicers on your report, that would make some impact on the overall performance. Okay, so therefore, when we uh, enable this uh, all option, right, like for example, when we choose this drop down and uh, do not select any value at the moment, so this would help us to at least reduce that effect of performance. So this is one uh, ben, uh, one suggestion that I can give you looking at the uh, data. Now, the other uh, difference that we see is, now let's talk about the filters. Like So for filters, like I did mention, so you, we can apply this uh, a field on uh, all the pages or on the current page. And that would help us to do the similar uh, uh, filter uh, slice and dice how how we've seen at the slicer level so here uh, even if you notice here so the order date here has been applied at the filter on this current page and uh, there are two different ways how we can perform this filter one is the basic filtering which would allow us to select the individual values that are listed down however there is also another option of uh, performing this filter that is the advanced filtering so when we select this advanced filtering, uh, Power BI would allow us to make the filtering based on different criteria, which is show items when the value is on different clauses, whether it is less than or less than or equal to. So based on different uh, uh, operations that you can list, uh, look at this particular value, we would be able to filter the data accordingly. So this is another difference that you can observe here where Slicers do not give us this sort of an advanced filtering option. However, filters would allow us to perform this advanced sort of filtering based on different criteria, like I said, end or or operator by applying different conditions. So let's bring it back to the basic filtering. Now, the other thing that to uh, consider here is that uh, when we have this slicer being applied, uh, we can just apply the slicer across 
uh, all the different uh, pages. So let's see quickly how do we apply this. So I've selected the slicer uh, on this uh, report. Now we'll go to this um, uh, view, uh, view tab on the top and I'll select the sync slicer. So the moment I enable the sync slicers, right? So there is a pane uh, being uh, added on this uh, report where you can see that it allows us to perform different uh, uh, selections, which is nothing but this slicer, whatever that we've currently added on this page can be synchronized across multiple pages as well. And we could also enable that to be shown on that respective pages also. So let's quickly see the options that is uh, listed below the sync slicers pane. So on this uh, tabular um, level, we see on the left side, the list of pages that are currently available on this workbook. And towards the right section, we do have the two different options. One is the uh, sync option and the other one is the visibility option. So which means that for all the pages where we enable this um, sync option, so this slicer would be uh, automatically applied across those pages and based on the slicer selection that we make on this current page, that uh, data would also be filtered accordingly in the respective pages. And the other option is the uh, visibility, right? So uh, maybe if you wish to see the slicer uh, available or uh, visible on the other pages as well, then you can also enable this option next to that uh, uh, page so that if you navigate through that particular page, you could see that the slicer is made visible so that you can also make some filtering on that particular page as well instead of navigating back to the initial page to make the selections. So you can just uh, uh, select a number of pages to apply this filter across the pages. However, if you wish not to display them on those pages, you can also make so by selecting or deselecting from the visibility pane. So this is about the sync slicers. Now, if we go to the advanced option, you could also specify your group name to sync in order to apply on the other visuals. So uh, let's, talk about this sync slicers. Now, as you can see, sync slicers are allowing us to perform or apply the specific uh, uh, filter across multiple pages. And it also allows us to uh, uh, provide the option to see whether it should be visible on those respective pages or not. However, filters do not allow that flexibility and though it uh, does apply, uh, though it does have an option to apply this filter across multiple pages, but it doesn't give that option to restrict by a certain page, right? So you cannot select uh, out of the given pages. You cannot select only a specific page on which this filter should be applied. So that is one of the key difference between a slicer and a filter. And also, uh, these filters are not user friendly, which means that during the report development itself, you would need to ensure which filter has to be applied on that particular report and that would not be uh, made visible to the end user. So it is not user friendly. However, uh, the slicer would be, uh, since it's a visual, right? So as we add it on the report level, it is made uh, visible and accessible to all users who consume the reports and therefore they get the benefit of filtering the data to slice and dice accordingly. So that is also another key difference when we compare with the uh, filters and uh, slicers. So when we talk about the performance part, so there are a few uh, tips and tricks that we can consider though they might not bring a lot of value, but uh, a little uh, change can also help us to improve the overall performance. So out of which, like we did mention earlier, the first thing is that when we try to add a slicer on the report, please ensure that the slicer has been selected to a uh, list so that uh, all the values are not been populated or listed one by one, because that would also store some data in the storage and that would occupy and make an impact on the overall performance. The other second tip that I can bring out here is, uh, please do not uh, ex expand these 
pains that you see here so when not needed try to uh, avoid those pains by minimizing it so if you can just click on this uh, left or uh, right arrow that would uh, minimize that pain so that that would also uh, avoid minimizing the uh, data to be loaded on the visual so that would also try to improve the performance on the visualization so uh, other thing is uh, we would need to understand whether there is a need to have a slicer or a filter being enabled on the report by looking at the report uh, requirements and who would the who would be the consumers of the data so accordingly we would need to select both the filters and slicers so uh, this is how uh, we can uh, distinguish between a filter and slicer and what are the benefits that we can get out of both of them and what are sync slicers as well and how we could uh, enable the sync slicers.